A few days ago, I shared a very personal and vulnerable story of how I lost the majority of my life savings, which you can check out right here. And with it, I think there is this big elephant in the room that needs to be addressed, which is how could I do that? You know, how could I invest five figures and trust someone to the degree that I trusted someone that I actually had only known for a few weeks that I had never met in person that I even never spoken to beyond exchanging some audio messages how could I trust someone to that degree and really ignore or not implement you know some basic boundaries like making sure that we have at the very least a video call if not meeting in person before I would make a huge leap like that and then how and why wouldn't I tell people that I care about my friends my family what was going on until it was too late until I'd already invested a lot of money so you know for me these really are the elephants in the room and, and I want to address it and I want to talk about it because I think it's actually really important it's been a really big part of my process and my hope is that it can also help you you know not necessarily or not only after the fact if you are processing something that big big that's going on in your life but really um, right now and every day so that it can help to strengthen you and help you to hopefully prevent finding yourself in similar situation one thing that I'm very heartened about is just how supportive this community has been in fact 99% of the people that have responded and reached out and commented both here on YouTube and in other places in my social media world have really been supportive and I've been seeing comments you know just like this one down below that Gary left and I really appreciate that and I hear what he's saying by saying that it's not my fault at the same time if I don't take time here to really process and go deeper about what happened then I think I'm missing the point and I'm missing a really big opportunity and it is possible to do that without assigning blame or or saying it's my fault but just really seeing and asking you know what's the opportunity to learn and grow and I think you could say that I was dumb or I made a dumb mistake and I should have known better and I would agree with that but I also think it's simplistic I think that there's no doubt that this woman was very good at her job and she knew what to do to push my buttons to help get me to trust her and believe her and because I was the one who brought up the idea of maybe she could help me with investing because she had presented herself as a successful businesswoman and that I was looking for some help doing that anyways you know that I had let my guard down you know all those things are true but at the same time I think it's just so important to take this as an opportunity to look deeper and ask the bigger question of why why and how could I let this happen and the best answer I can come up with is my shadow self you know and I, I think of my shadow self as a blind spot or blind spots you know and I'm not a psychologist I can't pretend to be a psychologist this term comes from psychology and I will share some links below for more resources if you want to learn more about it but the way I identify with the idea of a shadow self is that you know I project and want to be a certain way in the world every day and that there are parts of my past and parts of my personality that maybe I don't like or that I think that get in the way of me being that person that I want to be in helping to build the life that I want to be and so I don't acknowledge it or I don't see it enough and therefore they live in uh, in, in these blind in the in the shadows and they they become a blind spot in my life and that by not taking enough time or recognizing enough of what's going on in those shadows you know it's a part of you that's not seen that wants to be seen and it will certainly make itself seen in various moments in your life when you get triggered or you know in this case when I have this really uh, big thing that's going on in my life and it kind of locked me into being you know almost like having these blinders on and not making you know these common sense decisions that I otherwise could have made and for me what are some of those shadow cell or 
for me, what are some of those shadow parts of myself? I mean, I, I recognize that I can be pretty stubborn. I recognize that there are, uh, you know, parts of my life that I feel dissatisfied about and maybe not fully fulfilled and happy with. And I have a fear of money and, and not making enough money. And, and, I, and I know that upon reflection, these, these competing aspects of, my, of myself that I need to get to know more and more, that to me is where the answers really lie because I know that I have a really strong support group in my life. I have a family that truly loves me. I, I have really great friends, friends that I've known for 30 or 40 years or more that I trust wholeheartedly, and then more recent friends that are also friends that I really love and care about as well. And I couldn't see that what was going on was something that I needed to have more boundaries around and that was bigger than something I should really be keeping to myself and how helpful it would have been to ask and just let other people know about what was going on and be open to what came back. And I even lovingly, I've had some friends lovingly tell me after the fact, you know, how much they wish uh, they, I would have told them what was happening. And the truth is they're right. And I acknowledge it. I acknowledge that I, in the end, acted immaturely and that I have a lot more to learn about myself so that I don't put myself in situations like this again. And so what to do? You know, I'm making this video because for me, I am sharing some of my process with you to show that as scary sometimes and as hard as processing can be, it, it's just, this is, this is the opportunity. Right? The opportunity to learn and grow and take something really beneficial from something that is so hard. And, and this is the product of working on oneself. And so if you are interested in doing more shadow work, for example, then, you know, again, I'm going to post some resources down below. But some of the things that you can do is certainly seek out the help of a professional, you know, like a therapist. Um, but then really it's also about just turning the gaze inward and being with yourself and being a silent witness. And that's why, you know, I think meditation is one of these incredibly valuable things that you can do or journaling or talking to other people and seeing, you know, people that you trust and seeing, you know, what are some things they see about you that maybe you can't see in yourself or maybe there's an artistic component to you such as drawing and artwork and music that you know you can help to express some of what feels hidden in in your art as well so all of these things help to shine the light and help you to have more self-acceptance and self-love and more grace you know into who you are and into who you then get to become and I know I mentioned that, you know, one of my shadow components is, is some amount of dissatisfaction in my life. Even though I'm so grateful for being able to teach time massage and it's something I've been able to do for over 20 years and, and travel the world with it, you know, uh, I need to be honest with myself and say, but, you know, I, I think I have more that I want to share with the world. And, and making these videos or these opportunities and, and taking these steps to shine some of that light and share more of, of who I am and what I can offer. And again, if you are motivated to do any shadow work for yourself, you know, I want to share this comment that another person in my life shared when I posted my last story. And he talked about doing things with kindness and, and I couldn't agree more. And that with this turn of events in my life, is sharing with me and by looking more into the shadows is that it is helping me to find more love and to humble myself and to feel just so much appreciation for all of you and for all the people that are listening and that are offering their support. So I hope that by sharing some of my personal journey this helps to serve you and help you as well to know that you are loved and know that there's just so much love in us and all around us 
and that when we have hardships come up, let's use this as an opportunity to keep learning about ourselves and to keep bringing more of that love inside us, outside us, and know that it can actually strengthen and support you in so many, so many ways. I know that this work is really helping me in a really profound way and it is helping me to be stronger even if it's painful and it hurts. I just want to send lots and lots of love your way as well. And if you want to keep following my story, well you can certainly do so by subscribing to this channel and also to check out my new blog, Massage, Love and Health, where I'm going even deeper and farther into documenting what's been going on. And if you are interested in helping in my rebuild monetarily, then again, my GoFundMe is right here as well and you can make a donation there as well. And thanks again. Thank you for listening and thank you for all the support that you are offering. And I'm also sending you lots of love and goodness and health and wellness your way.